Hey people, and welcome to another Rift video. Right now, this one is somewhat different to what you will be used to from me, um, in that I have actually edited this video in some way, um, and possibly, hopefully I'll have found some audio for the background, but there may not be any. I'll just have to wait and see. You guys will know right now, but I don't yet because I have not yet found any and yeah I'll have to wait and see but this is as I promised some time ago um, footage of the first dungeon on the um, guardian side realm of the fae um, this is a dungeon for level 17 plus or that's what it's generally accepted to be um, I started getting the quests at around level 15 but yeah that's what it's generally accepted to be um, you could probably get in there 16 and do fairly well um, but yeah this dungeon has quite a lot of trash and it's kind of odd near the end but you'll you'll see that um, yeah um, this is currently sped up four times and I'm on my Dwarven Warrior who is currently um, let me just check for you. If I can open it up. Uh, she's DPS spec'd, um, Beastmaster, Champion, Rift Blade. She's got 19 points in Beastmaster and 6 points in Champion um, at the moment. Um, oh! There we go. There is now audio again. <laughs> Well, it is currently the boss fight. Right, this is the first boss fight. Um, this is fairly quick, nice and easy. Um, you've got three mobs in total. One is the main boss, and there are two adds. Um, the main boss is pretty easy, you just tank him. Um, and the two adds either side of him give him buffs. One of them will. Um, will buff his damage and one of them will uh, reduce the damage he takes by something like 90% or something really high so first of all you have to kill them and then you just nuke the boss back. Yeah, like I say this is my dwarf warrior um, she's currently the master spec but she also has um, a tank roll which is she's paladin main is in fact what we have tanking at the moment um, paladin tank I do believe it seems to be using a lot of the paladin abilities so yeah we've also got um, a cleric DPSer and a cleric killer also a mage DPSer who is a necromancer primarily um, but yeah so it's fairly simple boss um, the trash up to here is very easy, as you see we pretty much breathed it without any problem whatsoever. Um, the first time I came through here we had somewhat more difficulty, but they appear to nerf the dungeon somewhat since then. Which is kind of disappointing, but you know, what can you do? Um, but yeah, that's the first boss down. Now... There we go. Ooh, now, there we go. Yeah, that took a little while. It's currently sped up times two. Uh, skip forward a little past our saluting and such. Onto the next section. And in this section, um, it's weird little thingies as opposed to fairies and these moss shambles, whatever they're called. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and these weird little weird mudkip type things. They're kind of odd. Um, yeah, um, what else can I say really? The trash is all very simple, a lot of it is skippable and there are a few quests for this place. Um, one you pick up inside of here which is to just um, activate some, oh what? Uh, yeah, activate some um, altars. They're fairly easy to find, they're highlighted on the map. Um, and 
yeah, the others just to kill the main boss and destroy his crown type thing. Um, yeah, I have decided I am going to be buying this game. Um, I'll get round to that at some point. And I will probably be switching to Defiant, so I'll be able to bring you some Defiant footage um, after the game is actually launched. So look forward to that if you enjoy these videos. I will be bringing you more. Um, yeah, most of this trash in this section is skippable. Um, we did clear this little bit because one of the altars you have to cleanse is in one of these buildings. But other than that, yeah, you can skip most of it. Kill most of the packs. I think in a little, in a minute or so, I go kind of nuts. So I decide to just ninja pull because I got bored. Oh no, no, I skipped forward to the boss. I may have already done that. So this is the second boss again. Pretty simple. Um, it's just a simple matter of tank and spank mainly. Um, he does do a sort of gaseous cloud on the ground. I'll tell you when that happens. Do, 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 do. There we go, that big purple glowy thing. You have to move out of that because that does quite a lot of damage. Um, it also slows you, so you don't want to like get caught between two of those. It's kind of a pain. Um, he targets group members, so like he appears to be favouring targeting me. Apparently, I skip forward. Um, so you missed me killing the boss, apparently. And that's for some reason this is screwed up. So sorry about that. Um, that is pretty much more of the same though. Um, yeah, I skip forward to the next section, which now has a lot of weird little goat people in uh, satyrs and such like. Um, again, very simple trash. There's a bit more effort put into these well not effort put into them but they're a little harder to kill and again you can just avoid most of them um, what is happening well I'm very much hoping that <laughs> the footage on the video doesn't lag as much as it does while I am watching it currently because if it does I will be highly agitated because it is horrible to be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> um, and yeah, also hopefully I'll be able to find some, I'll have found some audio, because I don't like silent videos, especially not when it's just me talking over the top. Because hey, I'm not all that interesting. And if you find me interesting, you're kind of mentally ill. But I also love you. Um, yeah. Just keep clearing trash for a little while. Yeah, I cut out most of the crap. It took us a little longer than this. The footage was originally about 50 minutes of footage I picked up. So, yeah, you should be glad I edited it down quite a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, nearly at the next boss, I believe. For some reason, this footage is not sped up. And you're gonna watch it. You're going to watch it. So, I don't want to add it. it does appear to be a bit messed up, and I am sorry about that, guys. And I'm also sorry about that. Pepper. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> this is, like they say, the first video I've ever edited it. Uh, edited so it's kind of badly done um, also the the cursor glitch you see where it's got a little box around it is not in the game that's fine in the game it's just picking it up like this here for some reason I don't know why but hey not too big a deal you guys want to skip right right we skip forward to the boss there is a little bit of cool dialogue um I wish I could have picked up, but um, me and the mage went AFK before the boss, um, briefly, and they kind of walked into him, triggering the little cutscene, 
and then aggroed the boss, and we all died. That is, in fact, the only death we had in this entire dungeon. So kudos to Honor, the healer we had, for keeping us all alive. Even that one time I went mentally ill and charged into a group. So, yeah, um, let's let's pay attention to this boss. Right, this boss is, again, fairly simple. It's more in-depth than the others, however. Um, there's, again, two adds, which you have to take care of. Um, otherwise, they will kill you quite badly. Um, and, again, I skip forward. Um, yeah, I'll talk about it anyway. Uh, two adds you have to kill... Um, otherwise, they they hurt quite a lot if they're left unaccounted for. And the boss um, does a big AoE knockback, which knocks everyone back, so you have to make sure to either be on the other side of him or clear around him a little way. Otherwise, you'll pull a trash group, and that is never, never a good thing. We don't like pulling trash groups. Um, also, one, after he does that, he'll jump around and attack people, which isn't fun. It hurts a little, not too much. Um, but hey, that's that, isn't it, really? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, this is the strange part I was talking about. For some reason, suddenly, it goes from this bright, summery place which looks really nice, to this wintry, blizzardy mountaintop, which is horrible, and actually, I say horrible, I really like it. Um, you literally cannot see further than that. Like, that thing goes off into the clouds, and I can barely see it anymore. It's a really cool effect, I really like it. Sort of hope later on there's like an entire zone that's like that. Because it's a cool effect, I like it. Actually, gives a wintry feel. Okay, so I skip forward to the boss here. Um, this boss has sort of two phases. The first phase is adds. Um, we're doing this sort of the cheaty way, or what I see is the cheaty way. Um, there's enough room to allow for it, so I suppose it's not really the cheaty way. But the first phase is there's free adds. He summons them from portals and your tank needs to pull them back a ways. Um, you need to make sure you're all on the bridge before you pull, otherwise like you saw that wall goes up and you get locked out. Um, but yeah, this first add, very simple, he does a sort of air weave stun, which really isn't a remote issue. Um, and the second one um, is this one here. For a little two again. Um, a, a, a bigger one comes. Um, a big one of these. And then you DPS it down to half and it splits into two small ones. You DPS that down to half and it splits into these three little blowy orbs and you kill those. Um, that's very simple again. Um, these fights again used to be harder a couple of patches back. Really nice. I'm kind of disappointed with that. I was actually really enjoying the challenge. We really didn't find this dungeon remotely challenging when I went in earlier today. Um, it's kind of disappointing, as I say. I may, at some point, probably when I go on next, put in two recommendations things that I do not like the fact that they have utterly nerfed the dungeons to the point of no challenge whatsoever. So um, that's that second ad down. Um, now the third ad is a big tree fellow, I do believe. Um, and they are the avatar of autumn, the avatar of summer, and this here is the avatar of spring. This one um, just summons ad. You beat him up, he summons a moth thing. You need to kill him. Kill them. And then on to the boss after that. Um, beat him up. Put him in the face, put him with the big axe. That's the way you roll, and hit him with your hammer. Oh, 
whatever you do best, really. And then you kill the little pet. Wasps, moths, whatever they actually are. Thank God. And there is my boss. They launch it. Um. You can just move up here again now. It's not too big an issue. Um, just beat him up, put him in the face. Um, he does a sort of ground effect. Um, it's a big glowy green thing. That there, um, which hurts if you stand in it. Um, not too much, apparently. It's pretty much negligible. So you don't really have to move. Um, back in the day, a couple of patches ago, again, that was a lot more damage. It actually made a difference to the fight in some way. Um, so, that's that boss. <laughs> nice bow, I believe it was. And... Enough! The crown of Twill shall not be destroyed. But this guy's a douchebag. Finally, the crown belongs to me. I must thank Shyla for sending such capable lapdogs. Now the power belongs to me. None shall stand before my wrath. <laughs> Since you've proven yourself capable of following orders, I'll let you live. Return to Shyla and tell her I have no further use for her now that I have the power of green scale. So, here's me saying goodbye. I'd say goodbye, but for some reason, Dwarf and Redstone work. So, remember to like, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you.